Hey guys, this is North back again with another video. Today's video, I'm just coming to you with a short first impressions of one of the latest releases from the House of Dior. And under the the leadership or creative direction of Francis Kirkjohn, and this one is Oud Isfahan, Esprit de Parfum. I posted this a couple times, or at least once on my Instagram and then on Facebook and whatnot. I was able to get this fragrance, you know, through one of my plugs uh, prior to it even being released in stores. It is in stores now, and I did have a chance to try all five of them. I actually got an amber, uh, uh, amber one in, a couple of them, but I, but I sold those. This Oud Isfahan uh, Esprit de Parfum was the only one that I was <laughs> really interested in buying. So I got it, and I just want to talk about it briefly. Of course, this one was released in 2024. The listed notes on this one are cumin, clove, rose, oud, spicy notes. That's all that's listed. And I don't have the, um, I never owned oud Isfahan. Um, I did try to find, before these were released, I did try to see if I could get like a 250 tester of the prior to 2018 batch was supposed to be stronger and then when they reformulated it was more watered down and people some people like either the stronger one or they like the newer lighter one i wanted one that was stronger so i went on ahead and picked this one up i wasn't able to find a 2012 or you know uh prior to 2018 bottle and so this one is pretty much what i expected i did own oud palau from diptyque and uh, I, I did sell it, not because I didn't like it, but because to sort of get your um, your collection down to a certain level, you have to get rid of some things that you like. And if I were to compare Oud Isfahan Esprit de Parfum to what I remember from that, I find that Oud Isfahan, the, the Oud part of it, the Oud Rose part of it is smoother. I don't find it to be you know, it is a strong scent. I don't find it to be extremely beast mode. Um, I didn't find, because it's a it's an extrait the parfum, it actually says that inside the bottle. Uh, I don't find that it, I can see that it, it would project a lot if you over sprayed it. I haven't done that yet. That's why this is a first impression. It's still over hundred degrees here in Kuwait. Um, people here in Kuwait, the locals, they do wear all types of fragrances uh, throughout the year. So even while I'm at work, for example, I'll walk by some of my colleagues and be hit with not necessarily oud. It could be a Western scent, but just tons of it because they spray all over their clothes and inside the, um, you know, their headdress, which is called like a gutra. Um, but this one, I am pleasantly surprised with it, m meaning that it was it was what I expected. Uh, even my friend who um, I believe I believe he's Egyptian half Egyptian or something like that I was I told him he wasn't gonna like it I sprayed it on a strip for him and gave it to him and he was like oh this is nice because he's not the type of guy that really likes oud he really likes western type of scents and things like that so uh, to me this is not a strong animalic oud it is strong but it's not that animalic people have really gone off the deep end with the hyperbole hyperbole on it uh, but to me it is the essence of oud isfahan uh, i like it a lot i do hope to wear it a lot more um, and when the cooler months come I'm sure people will then maybe have gotten it in at that point and maybe will give their thoughts on it i wanted to give my initial thoughts because people have only pretty much been talking about the amber one i've tried all five of them but again oud isfahan was the only one i was really interested in i i don't want to spray it on skin right now so i have to come back i just have it on the paper and it smells much better on skin but it's just uh it's the essence of what oud isfahan is which is typically a oud rose i don't get a lot of sharp spices to me it's very smooth uh, it is strong. If you don't like anything that's even leaning towards the direction of animalic oud or anything like that, then you won't will not like that. But if you do like oud and you like things that maybe veer towards the animalic side, then this is one that you should check out. It's not the most animalic thing. It's not oud infini or anything like that. But I enjoy it. I'm happy that I was able to uh, get a bottle in. It was cool to get it before it was actually released. 
Um, and that's pretty much it. Have you tried any of the Esprit de Parfums from Dior this year? If so, what are some of your favorites? I did have Amber in. I smelled it briefly. I believe once you have a good like spicy amber, latinum, vanilla type of amber, you don't really need a bunch of them. So for me, I just got it in to, to try to you know bless some of my uh colleagues or friends um that wanted to pick up on it so that's it please let me know have you tried oud isfahan esprit de parfum or any of the other new esprit de parfums um, which one of them are your favorites please let me know in the comments please like comment and subscribe i'll see you in the next one guys peace